so the blog post is up and running. So, oof. No, not today. I, I was going to, but not, maybe in a bit. I'm just trying to. I just got. I literally just came in the house and food and stuff, or whatever. But they put out the blog post, and the, the big blog post one is really here. Uh, this one's basically gonna. This one basically just says, "Get fuck commanders." Um, with the release of version 5.10, there's an issue with certain players not being able to load the game using their data on T-Mobile carriers. So I was wondering why the game wasn't working when I was when I got out, and that was just nuts. So to correct the issue, players will need to download version 5.10.1, which will be available shortly today for ISO devices. For Android via Game Play Store, there's a beta version that you could download now in the URL. So going to one of these URLs, you should be able to download it. I tried doing it, but it didn't really work so i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and put in a ticket because that's pretty much uh yeah they're pretty much um yeah they're pretty much telling us hey man it's, it's not there's nothing there to you so i don't know um but they started the dark hunters team so we did get to get food uh, there's one little thing here that i i kind of noticed uh when reading it first just real quick it, it's kind of it, it's kind of cute and if you didn't read it you didn't know so we'll scroll down because we already did read some of it but for michael morbius we knew the video we knew the movie was coming out but obviously sony pushed it back so that pushed him but he was coming out regardless we saw it so that's cool but this uh, reading this whole paragraph is interesting because it's explains exactly who michael morbius is how he won a Nobel prize how he transitioned into a monster he's got some really cool abilities um he's ba he's still mortal but he doesn't have the same vampire weakness towards the sun garlic and religious artifacts this hybrid nature caused morbius to kill in the name of thirst for blood while being filled with regret and self-loathing for his actions morbius's hunger has caused him to tangle with some of the city's mightiest heroes including spider-man and the thing but morbius has also assisted heroes like blade so at some point blade is showing up they don't mention it in here unless somehow somehow wherever they're gonna show the hell up so that was really interesting to start start looking at when i noticed it i was like oh my god i gotta definitely gotta talk about it because it's like oh shoot they talked about blade and blade should be interesting hopefully it's hopefully they, they don't mess around they actually use them but yeah who knows um but we got Dr. Voodoo. He's an obscure character. He's more like a, a B-list character, which is probably why he's support. So he's a support character. Uh, Jericho Durham was born in Haiti and left for the United States as a man to study psychology. After studying work for 12 years, he returned home to find his brother, a local... Uh, hold on. Let's see. Haitian Voodoo Priest. Yeah, this, the, his backstory is pretty interesting. His power has gone so great that eventually assumed the Sorcerer's Supreme title from Doctor Strange and has since gone by the title Doctor Voodoo. So he is one of the, the Sorcerer Supremes. Uh, it, he does have some pretty good um, sustainable viability in the comics, but here they're making him more of a support character. So it's 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 not bad because hey, he's he's he can he can take a hit. So he's been the Sorcerer Supreme, so he can do certain things interesting. But yeah. so send heroes to the grave with Doctor Voodoo. So he's got Hero Global Support, Mystic, and Dark Hunter. Yeah, he does look like, uh, he, yeah, he looks like a, a pimp with a pimp stick. But, you know, I, it's just, hey, man, I, I don't know. When I, when I did see him, though, when I did, when, when I did notice him, I saw him on there and I was like, oh, my God, he reminds me of somebody. And I didn't know exactly how I was going to put it in there. But, I mean, it's Dr. Voodoo. The way he looks is just like, it, it's just, uh, When they when they thought of this character, I'm unsure if they knew what was gonna happen. What, like, you know, down the road that pimps would be something interesting or something like that. But he is, you know, he he's this is the guy. But when I see Doctor Voodoo, I hear, I literally hear, a, 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 I literally hear. Uh, shoot, hold on, let me stop that one. So whenever I, just like you said, you know, it's the jacket and the stick. Whenever I hear Dr. Voodoo, I hear, I don't know how loud this is going to play, but I hear this. 
And I look at him and I go, damn, it, 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 it's close. It's close, but it's Dr. Voodoo. I mean, whatever. It, it's hilarious when you, when, you, when you think about him because it's just like, oof. Oh, man, I miss the Godfather. Um, but uh, let's see. His basic, he's got a staff flash, transfer one death proof to prim from primary target to self, attack primary target for 30% damage, heal self, and all that are by 8%. So basically, his basic is going to heal everybody up. That's a nice, powerful basic. That is, because it's just going to heal regardless of what he's going to do. Uh, turn one, he gets to do Doctor's Orders, which is nice. Uh, this is great that it there's a lot of in it, there's a lot of stuff in this actual ability before you know war offense. So it's not everything war offense based. It's not a war based tag. It's just boom. This attack this attack can't be blocked. So that's good. So he's going to mind control two adjacent two adjacent enemies to attack the primary target, and then they gain thirty percent for that. That's going to be nice. Oh, and look, and he's burying self and all. All dark on allies by thirty percent is max health barrier. Damn, that's gonna be that's gonna be a big hit. That's gonna be a big one. Ooh, his ultimate is is long. Oof, he's on the dark hunter team, so he's basically um, Morbius, uh, Doctor Voodoo, Elsa Bloodstone, and Ghost Rider, and they don't have a fifth. So that fifth will probably come longer away unless they're just going to leave it as a four man team. I'm fine with the four man team. The four man team is good because then it makes you it, it, it you kind of experiment with with people and you try to figure out, you know, hey, who am I going to who am I going to use on this team, you know? Who who am I going to put together? So it's it's a it's a good it, it's a good way to do it. Uh his passive, he doesn't have a lot on war offense either, which is great. So going back to his ultimate, it's still it's an energy cost of 4 out of 8. That's nuts. And then he steals health from all enemies and redistributes 150% health stolen to all Dark Hunter allies. This bypasses heal block. So even if he's heal blocked, <laughs> good luck. And then gain 5% speed for each death proof up to, up to what, 5 or something? Yeah. Oh my god, man. This is, this ability is going to be nuts. Yeah, he looks like he's going to take it. And then... The big thing that we already went over with Morbius, the, you know, back when his kit was revealed, was the fact that he's gonna, he's gonna put out trauma. That's gonna be, that that that's not. But it but it's only on, it, it's only during war offense. So that's kind of, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. They're tearing teams apart, but the tearing teams apart is that the two that are left is. Well, there's three left, but Mordo, Mordo can work with either or because he he has the he he doesn't have the tag, but he work he does work with them, so it, it's nice. But the big one is is that uh, you got Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch left alone, which means they might be going on a team where they're going to be getting some reworks once their movie comes to play. So that's not bad. Um, we saw some big we knew the big reworks were coming, and the reworks are coming pretty damn nicely. It's the piercing attack that's going to get. The big one it's now 75 percent uh piercing which is good um for elsa elsa then goes up 320 percent damage then attack the most energy for 370 percent damage so that's going to be a big one too um our ultimate got a big hit um characters killed by this attack cannot be revived so when she knocks out her ultimate if somebody's killed they're not getting back up so they're basically pushing you know that that was the big thing about Black Bolt. When Black Bolt did it, it was it was it was you know unique to him because hey, you know you knocked them out, and then Kestrel came out with it. Now they're putting it on Elsa, which is interesting. I mean, Black Bolt and Kestrel, you kind of figured because they're OP, but these two, it's just like Elsa. I don't know. Same thing with Stitcher. Like, why would you put it on Stitcher? But hey, thank you. Um, the big thing on her passive is. Uh, she just got the Dark Hunter ally to, to trade on there. That's not bad. Ghost Rider got a lot of armor and a, a good percent of damage. Um, if he's charged now, this attack is his, his, his ultimate can't be blocked. So that that was one thing that was really interesting because Ghost Rider is a powerful character in the comics, and now his ultimate's not going to be you know blocked, which is great. Um, he's also for his passive, he's gaining about ten percent focus. 40 per, another 10 percent focus on that and then they gave the dark hunter tag in his passive so it's not really that big of a change for that but he's still 
He's still he's still pushing up good. Uh, Mordo, he got a big increase, but he was one of the first characters out there, so they needed to give him some type of a big increase. But he he can be used. He's got some tags for war offense, but he doesn't have uh, the Dark Hunter tag. He still has a supernatural tag. He just doesn't have the Dark Hunter tag. So um, the care, you know, uh, Elsa and Ghost Rider still have the the. The supernatural tag, so it can be good. Plus, he's mystic as well, so it, it would help a little bit to get more for the mystic characters because they are mystic, and it increases his chances for blinding additional targets. So that's a good thing. Um, the big, uh, the big one here. I thought I didn't know they were gonna change it, but they did. The Norware Heist, the Mythic Flash event. They actually made it to where now you can actually run through the entire event in one try. So it's different from other flash events. You're allowed to attempt missions up to seven times instead of the typical three. So meaning that it's possible to complete the entire Mythic Flash in its first run. The only bad part is that who the hell has Doc Ock up to seven right now and gear 15? I got I, I got him to gear 15. I just don't got him to seven stars. I don't got I don't got star I don't got I don't think I got invisible wound to seven stars. So it's just, oh my god, if I would have known that, I would have put more into it. Same thing with Star Lord and Rocket. Do I really want to push them to gear 15 to, to, to gear tier 15? If you want to get the, the promotion credits and stuff, I think it's up it, it's up to you if you want to waste for it. But it says they're giving dark promotion credits, elite seven credits, and gold. So I would say maybe, maybe it's okay. Mm. Uh, to download to download Mag Pan Celebration. So they're giving out shards. So the character. Yeah, it looks like uh yeah, as a two-time dark yeah, he finished it again. He's he's in the raining there, but uh we're gonna get a hundred shards total of cloak and or dagger. So it's basically probably gonna be that that orb again where you get to decide what to do. Um but the celebration doesn't stop there because we're also scheduling bonus events for Captain America. Captain Sam and Polaris in the near future. So we're going to have some bonus events for them. That's pretty nice. So at least you can... Uh, it's nice to have a bonus event, but, you know, it's really simple. Two times zero is zero. So who knows? Um, they got a power of love calendar. I'm guessing that's coming out because of Valentine's Day. Um, it don't take money, it don't take fame. Heading your way on February 9th at four to give your roster a big hug is the Power Love Calendar. The calendar will keep your heart plus for five days and feature power cores and makeup for the days mysteriously missing from the. <laughs> so, uh, since February was a shorter month, it didn't you didn't get the power cores at the end. So they're gonna give you another calendar with some other free stuff. So eight thousand unconditional love orb fragments, six thousand gold orb fragments, which whatever. And in 25 T3, we don't really need those, but whatever. I mean, it's free stuff. The, the big thing here is the unconditional love fra love or fragments. We haven't seen anything about that yet, so hopefully eventually we do. Uh, character available, they're going to be put Spider Punk in the Supply Store, Premium, Basic, Mega, and Ultimate Orbs. That's cool. And then we got a bunch of events coming up. So uh, Ebony, event, uh, Ebony Maza Legendary Events coming back soon. That'll be on the 6th. And then we're going to get M'Baku on the next split. So basically, if you got M'Baku sent up, you basically don't really need to do too much unless you want. <laughs> Credits for the mirror image event. So you're going to have to blitz anyway. So that's going to be interesting there. The beta raids, there's going to be a new beta raid orb coming on the 7th. So on Monday, there's going to be a new orb going through. So we're going to be able to go ahead and check, take a look at that. Um, the red star orbs, basically during this time, on February 8th, we're finally going to get dark promotion credit increases. Thank you. And then, oh, look at that. February 10th. I'm pretty sure... Ain't nobody got time for that. be a big, big blitz, too. The Captain Sam. Oh, wow. Basically, you're going to... Captain Sam's coming to blitz, so... More re... Another reason to go ahead and blitz even harder, because it's still within those 15 days to blitz. And if you need a hand, they're going to... Two times, uh... Two times zero is still zero for hands characters, but you can get the relic hush hunt event. So we're gonna make sure that's going, and that'll be on the 11th. So that is not a bad blog post. It was okay. The big one is here. You can actually do all seven missions if you got these characters pushed up. And then you know they're having some events there, but the big one is is the the blitzing ones for hey you still got a blitz there from Baku if you want to get more of the imprint credits. 
And then same thing for Captain Sam. Imprint, imprint credits. So, not a bad blog post today. Wasn't too bad. Deuces.